story of Hansen and his explorations in northeastern Saskatchewan uh, around the area between Prince Albert and Flintlon. And it's also uh, a bit of an adventure story because he was a trapper and a hunter, he was a fisherman, he was a, a prospector, he was a driller. Uh, so he had quite an interesting life. So it's really his, his life story from the beginning of the 20th century to about uh, in the 1970s. My father uh, had written two previous books, North to Cree Lake and Face the North Wind. And uh, he met um, Olaf Hansen, who was a, an explorer and an adventurer in northern Saskatchewan. And Mr. Hansen was, had read his earlier books and he was wanting to know whether or not my dad would be interested in writing a book about his life. And that's really how it came to be. He struck me from reading that uh, manuscript as being somebody who really was very strong uh, uh, from a personality point of view, but also from a physical point of view. He could walk for miles and miles with uh, very heavy loads on his back. Nothing seemed to, to really uh, get him down too much. Uh, there are a couple of stories in the book where he, um, he has some real uh, physical adventures. But he was a guy who he enjoyed people and he liked uh, uh, going off into the bush with other people and he would take people who had no experience with them, him along and show them how to do things. Uh, he seemed to be a, a real um, uh, sort of sociable character even though he did live for long periods of time on his own and, and made his way around the, the north on his own a lot. But he, he just seemed to be a, a fellow who had a lot of uh, energy and he had a lot of uh, hopes for the future and he had a lot of um, uh, ideas about how he could just make a living and that's why he did so many different things.